expect it, but it's not bad. Glad you like it. Fig, Millie. Feel free to make yourselves at home, too. Thank you for everything, Arrow. <laughs> okay, let's get right into it. Arrow, you were trying to save Millie because of that light form thing, right? Guess there's no point in hiding it now, is there? Yeah, that's right. The Covenant came out of Millie and then went into me. Of course. It's because I died. I get that these Covenant things are important somehow, but I'm only just now starting to wrap my head around it. Can you tell me more about them? You two are Devil Summoners, after all. <laughs> Alright. This is my understanding of it. Covenants are like a big source of energy, and they've been passed down from soul to soul for generations. Supposedly, these covenant holders wield great power. What kind of power? Well, simply put, possessing a covenant awakens the holder's latent abilities. And in some cases, it can even spark, well, evolution. They say there's a total of five covenants out there. Having one as powerful as it is, but the effects would only go as far as the individual could take them. Now, if someone were to possess all five, then that'd be something else entirely. Gather up all five covenants, and you could... You could what? You could call forth what's known as the Great One, a being prophesied to bring ultimate destruction to the world as we know it. That's what they say, at least. Summoning this Great One is Phantom's top priority. Am I right, Millie? Please, you don't really need me to confirm that, do you, Mr. Double Agent? If the Holder dies, the Covenant gets passed on to someone else. As a result, there's almost always some sort of conflict surrounding them. What a surprise. I see now. So when Millie died, the Covenant found a new owner in Fae. These Covenants and this world-ending Great One you mentioned... I believe these may be the seeds that make Ion's prediction come true. Gotta be. Considering we're trying to stop the end of the world, the Phantom Society is shaping up to be a pretty big obstacle. Agreed. And now that we know their intentions, we must protect this covenant inside of me at all costs. That's going to be a problem for me. Forget it, Millie. Our summoning abilities are... Changed. We don't have control over our demons. Ringo does. We think it might be due to the soul hack. Excuse me? No one told me about this. Don't look at me. You can still summon through me, however. Do you think you can make do with that? I'd rather you just give me my summoning abilities back along with my covenant. Can you do that? Mm, not right away, no. You owe me for bringing you back to life. Just think of this as a little collateral for the time being. Well, it's not a terribly good deal for me, is it? The way I see it, I'm basically your slave. You don't mince words. I like that. Still, I'm afraid I can't back down that easily. What exactly is the Covenant to you, Melody? I don't think I need to explain why the Phantom Society needs summoners, do I? Right. So you're after the end of the world too, huh? Hey, Ringo. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. What's up? Ion aren't human, right? So why was the Covenant passed on the Fig? What are you, really? We agents of Ion are highly intelligent beings born from a sea of information. By installing an ego into a simulated human body, the foundation is laid for a soul to develop alongside it. So a machine can have a soul? Is that so strange? Your bodies are practically machines too, too. Albeit flesh and bones. For our car, there is 
There's a lot of souls that are may know and known. Where it comes from, what they truly are. We're no, we're no experts either. But the saddest truth is, this should accurately recreate body and provide it with a means of control. control. Soul will naturally take root. In other words, other words it's not just it's this not mechanical, just mechanical shell, shell, or rather, this body of a. It's a complex change of different, different logical reaction that shapes the soul. soul. Yeah. I get any, get any that. Okay, okay. Then I'm your super, super computer user to have inside to make all the things. Any, any planner terms? Our origins may be different, but we all are more or less, less the same as humans. The trade-off is, is, in this form, form we can't operate at an Iowa Tower. Or we have access to access to the amount data that data lies used to. Ah, uh, I see. I guess that's why they said this form was the most ideal for our mission. Can't really soul hack if you don't have a soul yourself, can you? Oh, that's right, Ringo. I meant to tell you earlier, but I've made a new discovery. It's about Target Alpha, Ichiro Onda. I, rem I remember the fame of the human engineer. What about it? They think it was acting act 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 for me. She was trying she to was hack on Onda, trying, trying to recruit you, Mr. Jennifer. But I managed to answer the surveillance camera footage. I found a video of one of what happened in the 24th Wilson Tower. Tower. And he was killed by someone so named Iron Mask. Say, say Iron, Iron Mask? Ma the leader of the project C project finally makes this move. This move. It wasn't was him. him. So, so, you know him, man. Oh, well, 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 I, I guess, guess you would. would. Seeing, Seeing as you two are together. You are? He called call himself, himself Iron Mask. Are you, Are you absolutely, absolutely certain? certain? Let's, Let's take, take a look, look at the footage. Out, out, out in the video. video. Impressive. I can't imagine how many security measures were in your way. You're no mere trespasser. Ichiro Onda, I presume. The greatest computer engineer of our time. It's a pleasure. And you are? I am the leader of Project C. You may call me Iron Mask. <laughs> a bit on the nose. Was Black Suit taken? Or are you a prisoner broken free? Well, it's fine. You're welcome to celebrate with me, masked man. So is your little wallflower. <sighs> it's complete. A system to shatter the status quo with a perfect name to shake the very foundation of that date. The Omni System. Glorious, isn't it? Can't you feel its power? But now it's finished, and I'm done with it. If you're a thief, then go ahead and take it. You've designed a masterpiece, Doctor. The Omni System will uplift mankind to new heights. Alas, I'm afraid your part in our grand pageant ends here. We want something quite different from you. I should have known. If you don't want my creation, then you must be after me. Well, what dwells within me? You are the Covenant. Ah, you're already aware. You do know our the genes. Genius. No one can control the future. I 
At least I have a future. Goodbye, Ichiro Anna. Your covenant served you well, but it will serve me far better. So that's it. Ichiro Ando was a covenant holder too. And we got a good look at Iron Mask. Plus, whatever that freaky, murdery guy was. The guy that tore out Anda's covenant, you mean? Strength like that definitely isn't human. Maybe it's some new species of bear or something? Melody, you were on Iron Mask's team. Know anything about that? Not really. All I know is he called, called that thing Zenin. He also referred to it as a vessel, vessel for the Covenants. A vessel for the Covenants, huh? It seems he lacked the power to fend off their attack. Say, Millie, if you and Iron Mask are an item, why is he after you? <laughs> Ringo, what would you say to working together? You, you help me with Iron, Iron Mask. What's, What's in it for me? I'll help you prevent this end of the world or whatever you've been going on about. And I'll give you all the Covenant Holders' names. Deal? You sure? I thought you wanted the world to end. Some things take priority. Alright then, Melody. It's a deal. Private quick to trust, aren't you? Not at all. But we both benefit from this, and for now, that's all I need. Speaking of which, I'm hoping we can count you into arrow. Sure. It's not like I don't have stakes in this. Alright then. It's settled. Let's all just try to get along from here on out. <sighs> you call that getting along? Arrow, did you do something to her? No, no, at, at least, least, I don't think, think so. so. Oh, really? Yasu never, never did anything to interfere with the Phantom Society's, Society's plans? Well, well that's, that's nothing new. new. Phantom and Yasu have been at each other's throats for forever. I hate it when humans, humans act, act like this. Maybe try to look at Arrow as his own person, rather than as a member of Yagarasu. I suppose I can do that. On to the main topic. Melody, if you could go over the Covenant Holders for us. Right. These are the five people the Phantom Society had marked as Covenant Holders. First is Iron Mask, leader of the Covenant Recovery Project, or Project C. He's a Covenant Holder as well. The Covenant Recovery Project. 
How was the Phantom Society able to identify these individuals? A covenant holder can detect another simply by looking at them. A quick glance in their direction is all it takes. Coupling that with the organization's power, the Phantom Society has been able to identify covenant holders for a long time. Up next, we have Ichiro Onda, our late computer engineer. He held a covenant, but had no summoning ability. Going off the security footage we just saw, his covenant is currently being held by that man, Zenon. This means Iron Mask is in possession of at least two covenants at this time. The third covenant holder is a devil summoner. Mangetsu Kuzunoha. I imagine a certain someone here knows a lot more about him than I do, though. He's one of Yadarasu's top devil summoners, and one of the key players in protecting this country. There you have it. The fourth is a man named Saizo, who operates out of Karakucho. He's a freelance summoner who's had dealings with both Yagarasu and the Phantom Society. And lastly, our fifth covenant holder was me, though that's clearly not the case anymore. That's the one I currently have. So many of them have switched owners in such a short time. It's kind of hard to follow. Hang on a sec. Does that mean Iron Mask was targeting those two covenant holders at once? If that's true, then the others could be in danger too. Millity, any idea where Saizo might be? Word is, he's typically hanging around Bar Hydra about this time. It's over on Chinsondo Street. Then that's where we gotta go. You coming, Fig? I'll wait here for everyone. If worse comes to worst, we can't allow our enemies to obtain any more covenants. That said, you'll need an operator of sorts to appraise the situation, so we'll all need to play that role from the back end. Roger. We'll let you handle things here then. The bar up the stairs is hydrant. Hope this size lasts day. Huh? 
is a hero, hero huh? Looks, Looks like, like an accessories, accessories boutique. Oh, a customer? I'm Madigan. Might, Might as well save your breath. breath. First timers always beg to know my name. name. But, but I can hardly blame, blame them. them. I mean, <laughs> look, look at me. me. <laughs> sure. Well, rather well, truly, it's, it's only, only humans who want the, the finest glamour, glamour money can buy. buy. But, but don't, don't take it too hard, hard when you realize you'll, you'll never, never reach, reach my level. Oh, God, God I'm gorgeous. gorgeous. Is this guy getting enough of himself? Can he even see us? Does he even know he's running a shop? No, impossible. Whoa, uh, I see now. You're not human, are you? Huh. Why do you say that? Well, there certainly can't be a human more beautiful than me in this world. Oh. Uh, thanks? I won't settle for second best. Let, Let me know if you need help. You want to buy that? Thanks. You want to wear it out? All right. You want to buy that? Thanks. You want to keep focused and win this. You wanna buy that? Thanks. You wanna- Let's be smart here. Are you still here? You wanna sell that? Thanks. You wanna sell? Thanks. You wanna sell? Thanks. Are you still here? Oh, bye. Face in town. Name's Hughes. I own the place. Hughes, huh? I'll remember that. What can I get you? Never hurts to start with something easy like a white ale or the like. Sorry, but we're actually looking for someone. His name's Saizo. You haven't seen him, have you? Saizo? He was here not too long ago, but I think he left for work. You might catch him over in Karakucho. That's where he runs his day to day. We'll need to hurry. Thanks for the wreck. I'll save it for next time.
Over here. Wait up, Millie! What do you sell here? Anything and everything. It's what sets our store apart from just about everywhere else. I know it's a little noisy in here, but by all means. Welcome to De La Mancha! Is there anything else? Thank you! Welcome. So this is what they call a club. Well, from the looks of you, I take it you live on our side of the world. Sorry for surprising you, so the pleasure's all mine. I'm Ginkgo, Madam Ginkgo to some of our summoner regulars. Nice to meet you, Madam Ginkgo. I'm Ringo, but I'm not exactly a summoner. What do you mean, your side of the world? Here at Club Cretaceous, we provide certain specialty services to the people of the city. More specifically, we put clients in contact with summoners for private contracts. Really now? Sounds like this place is good for more than the nightlife. So if I drop by, I can hear about some local problems that need a summoner's skills? That's what you're saying? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Why tell me about this? Sounds like you want me in on these jobs. Got something you want me to do? I'm sure I will soon enough. Saving the world is certainly a noble cause. But there are times when you must narrow your scope and hear the small voices. All I'd ask is that you help the people who need it. That's the true calling of a devil summoner, after all. Sounds fun. Might help me get the information I need, too. Welcome. the truth. I ask that you handle this as well. I humbly ask this of you. As to this request, Ask this of you. Do you have any other business with? I bid you good luck. Again? Not 
the cleanest way to go out. So, where does that leave us? Are we already at a dead end? Not much choice. All we can do is soul hack in. Is that really an option? Fig's not going to be happy. Hey, you said it yourself. Sometimes we've just got to follow our instincts. Someone was after Sizer's coven, and we need to find out who. Our whole mission's riding on this lead, and I'm not just gonna sit back and lose it. No time to waste. I'm gonna give it a shot, so watch my back. Protection sent to partial. Spell sequence, soul hack. Systems are go. Peace, miss. Thank you. Oh, thank you. someday? the Grim Reaper would be this cute. I'm not a Reaper man. Not even that grim. Actually, I'm the opposite. My name's Ringo. I'm an agent of Ion. I'm trying to stop the end of the world. I came here to bring you back. So you're telling me this smooth-talking sweetheart who's out to save the whole world Set some time aside just for little old me. You got it. What do you think, Saizo? Your story doesn't really end here, right? You've got some unfinished business. Damn right I do. I never got a chance to talk to her. I'll never have a real ending until I fix that. Okay, then I'll give you that second chance. Take my hand, Saizo. Why not? I summon demons for a living anyway. 
I can handle a deal with the Grim Reaper. I said I'm not the Grim Reaper. worked. Go figure. No way. You know, I've been a summoner for a while now, but I gotta say, I'm feeling a little out of my depth here. This is something totally different from summoning. It's the power of Ion. And Ion would be your boss, huh? Well, none of my business. Glad I don't have to over-explain anything. Hey, I focus on the bright side. I'm here and I'm alive. That's enough for me. I see Melody and, uh... Hmm, sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Tarot, or something. It's Arrow. Aren't you both summoners for Phantom? What's the deal with killing me and then bringing me back to life? I mean, let's be real. I'm not worth that much trouble. Well, it's complicated. A spy and a traitor, huh? I see. Sounds like you guys got a lot on your plates. For now, just consider us independents. We're not aligned with any one organization. Gotcha. Probably more convenient that way for me, too. Sorry to get straight to business, but was your covenant taken by a guy in a mask? He was there, yeah. But he wasn't the one who took it. That'd be his freaky bodyguard. Zenin, huh? I don't know much about this covenant stuff, but I take it that's what you guys are chasing? Among other things. I'd say it's fair to assume Iron Mask now bears three covenants. So you guys already know it was the Phantom Society that wiped me out, huh? Well, we were kind of hoping to get to you before you got killed. My bad, I guess. It came out of nowhere. Look, forget me. Any of you see a summoner lady around? Gorgeous? Got one of those always tired faces? Looks great and black? I saw a girl in that soul hack right before he died. That's sorry, but we didn't see anyone else around. Ugh. Those bastards used Ash to get to me. They knew what they were doing. Well, if you're after the Phantom Society, how about coming with us? I'm in. No hesitation, huh? I owe Phantom a little payback, you see. So I'll title off. At least until I can cash that check. Sounds good to me. You guys alright with that? Sure. We need all the help we can get. No objections here, either. <sighs> we should probably head back to the safe house. Review what we know? Huh? Whoa, you okay? What's going on? Fig, can you take a look? Tracing. Mental abnormality detected. I'm seeing an unknown disruption of your brainwaves. Ringo, did you soul hack again? Uh... Yeah, sorry. Go on. Get the complaining... out of the way. Hey! Wake up! Ringo! Hey, uh, what's the plan here? Do we take her to a hospital? We don't want that many eyes on us. Let's get her back to the safe house. Fig? Uh, Ringo's awake, everyone! 
Oh, yeah. I got all dizzy and passed out. Yes. And then we immediately brought you back here. Sheesh. You really freaked me out back there. Guess even Ion can go weak in the knees, huh? I didn't think you'd be able to pass out either, actually. So you had me worried, too. Are you alright now? <laughs> Sorry about that. Looks like I gave you all a good scare. I'm guessing since I have a physical body right now, it's only natural that I'd feel unwell once in a while. Ringo, Flemma wants to talk to you about what happened. She might know something more. Flemma wants you to meet her at the Axis. She said to bring the other summoners with you. What? Taking everyone to the Axis? Is that really going to be okay? Under normal circumstances, I think not. But considering the urgency, it might be a necessary evil. Got it. Then I guess that's where we're headed. Hold on. She also said that everyone should be prepared to fight. The heck? What's that about? What, are we gonna fight in the Axis or something? I don't know myself. Flamma. The Axis? Sounds like we'll just have to go see for ourselves. You're probably right. Well, time for a little trip, gang. Look, that's fine. Are you sure you're up for it? Yep. Couldn't be better. Hate to be a pest, but if there's gonna be a fight, mind if we stop by Monse Realm first? I got a few things I gotta take care of. He's got a point. It'll be a good place to prepare, especially when we're going into a dicey situation. I'm sorry, Ringo, but I must ask you to go on without me. I have matters of my own to attend to. Yeah, sure thing. Alright, we'll all meet up at Monse Realm.